What up there guys, this is Jagged82 and this is a video response to SpinnerNet1 about the war on drugs is a joke. And I cold agree. Um, to me, when I was a kid, and I'm going to show you guys some, I still have right there, you see that little red ribbon? That's a drug free ribbon. That was way back when I was in school. And I can remember from when I was younger. And if you guys remember those ribbons, uh, red uh, for just say no for drugs and all that stuff. And don't get me wrong, I don't do any drugs. Now, about the marijuana part marijuana is an herb, it's not really a drug unless it's been chemically enhanced with a whole bunch of other stuff but the actual plant itself cannabis uh... is not an actual drug if you think about it it's just crazy the fact that uh... that pretty much marijuana is illegal because if you look at before 1906 and trust me i've been doing my research on wikipedia marijuana was legal in the united states it wasn't illegal Hemp was used to make paper, and hemp was also used in many products. Uh, it was a bunch of big heads back in the time, uh, Rand, uh, Rudolph, uh, Rand, Randolph Hearst, and guys like that who who was the richest person in America, and and he had a contract because you know newspapers, uh, newspaper companies were making their newspapers with hemp because of the the fact that it was cheaper than paper and he didn't like that so that was one thing and plus the whole thing about marijuana being a gateway drug was not true it was it, 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 to this day it hasn't been valid that by you doing marijuana it would lead to cocaine weed I mean not not weed but, oh, am I high right now okay but anyway it was just that but I agree fifteen billion dollars from the year 2010, that is a whole lot of fucking money to try to stop something that will never be stopped. That's just like alcohol. This is a can of beer. That is like alcohol. When prohibition was around, if you make something illegal, it will still be sold. It will still be in circulation. Of course, it'll be illegal, but it still will be sold. The same thing with marijuana. It will still be sold. Any other drug will be sold. A person that is addicted to drugs, uh, as it relates to cocaine or, or heroin or anything like that, they need help. And if they are a person, like you said, that is being put in prison, because like, like, like uh, Spinner said, he said 21% of the prison population are non-offending drug users. There are people who are just there because they did drugs. They didn't attack people. They didn't do anything like that. They just were doing drugs. Now, why send them to prison when you can send them to a rehab uh, facility or some place where they could be, you know, taken care of and hopefully their addiction will be out the way. But to know that our country spends that much money on uh, drugs and knowing that it hasn't really done a hill of anything because where I live I've seen kids 14, 15, 16 years old talking about getting high so it begs to differ if we really have a conscious mind about the way the world is and that's the same like with cigarettes cigarettes kill people they blatantly let you know that cigarettes have chemicals in them that are found in rat poison in the same some of the same chemicals found in rat poison are found in cigarettes but yet and still cigarettes are still on shelves and prior to the the, the 90s cigarettes was being advertised on, com on commercials on TV Smoke your cigarette, let off moose. You remember all of them? And yet and still, marijuana is illegal. It is illegal to smoke marijuana. Now, in Jamaica, yeah, man, Jamaica, you can smoke your weed, man. 
you know, the, the, the laws is a little bit different in certain countries. Amsterdam, they do their thing. Now, I've seen celebrities like Snoop Dogg, like Willie Nelson, like Woody Harrison, who also did a documentary. Uh, I forgot the name of it. It escapes my head right now, but I remember seeing it on TV. About It was talking about marijuana. It was talking about, at one point, Jimmy Carter was going to legalize marijuana. President Jimmy Carter, when he was in office, was going to legalize marijuana because, once again, that like I say, that it was. And think about what legalizing marijuana would do to the United States economically. You would have millions of millions of millions of dollars, probably even billions, going to your economy surplus. It would, it would, you know what I'm saying? It, it could be regulations on it. You have to be a certain age to smoke it. And probably, uh, you know, it would just, you know, because, cause, cause like I say, as this video goes on, you're going to notice that there are certain things that, okay, first of all, let's think about the medical uses of marijuana. Medical uses of marijuana, it uh, can treat uh, glaucoma patients because it relieves some of the pressure on the eye. Um, it can is used uh, for people who suffer from multiple multiple sclerosis, uh, people who have back pain, people who have any really particular muscle pain. It can help with people who are taking uh, who are going through uh, cancer patients who are going through chemotherapy and AIDS patients because it helps increase their appetite. They want to eat food. Uh, there are both, but there are a bunch of things that marijuana has. Uh, Efficiencies, however, and you know, of course, marijuana medically has been cleared for certain states, but for that's for people who have a medical ailment, they can use it, and uh, that's for that, you know. But to to analyze the whole drug war drug thing all together, remembering back in the day when it was the thing to say, just say no, just say no. But the thing is. We live in a society right now where there are a whole lot of things going fucked up. The way the world is, is fucked up. And it's not a preaching of saying, man, do drugs, but you got to understand something. For those people who sit there and say that marijuana should be illegal, there are a whole bunch of more that say it should be legal. And this is from people that don't even smoke it. But yeah they've been around it and they've seen you know and not every person that smokes weed is a bad person just like not every person that drinks alcohol is a bad person now the thing about any particular substance you use it's always about responsibility for someone's own actions and anybody would say if you're gonna smoke weed man smoke it you know and chill out and do that don't, don't be acting a donkey that's the same with alcohol but the war on drugs, yeah, it is a joke because you've spent so much money, 40 plus years of saying to just say no and what has this gotten us? I mean, we still have more drug dealers on the street selling dope and we still have a bunch of people doing drugs. But yeah, this is my video response to Spinner Net One, guys. Uh, check out this video, though. It's, it really is informative. And uh, yeah, guys, this is Jacket A2, signing off.